it was my junior year in high school and I fell back a lot. I fell back in this fucking hole of life. The second you think that you've overcome it and you climb Everest, you're on that last hold and life will say, <laughs> not today, motherfucker. And it'll push you down. And my junior year in high school, I uh, missed a whole bunch of school, was lying to my mom, had like a one point something GPA. I was just jacked up. I mean, it was, it's, I was in one, one of the worst spots in my life. And my mom was going through a lot of shit too. And she didn't have time to sit back and baby me. And it was me against me. My pants were down to my knees. I was just, I was not, whatever was going on, I was in a bad shape. So I went to the bathroom and I had this weird haircut because I wanted attention. I was an attention getter. I went to an all white school pretty much. Um, some of the kids liked me, a lot of them didn't like me, whatever, didn't fucking matter. I was looking for something. So I would dress differently, crazy haircuts. And I went to the mirror and the reflection in it revealed a lot of bad things. A lot of things that I was hiding behind the saggy pants. And I'm looking at myself in the mirror going like, God, dog, dude, you got You are something else, man. Like you have created a character. I want to be at the cool guy table and whatever I could do to, to, to get attention, I did. And it wasn't me. It wasn't who I was inside, but I was scared for anybody to know who I was inside. So in that accountability mirror, I call it, I got real with myself. And I said, you have a, a third grade reading level, which is hard to admit when you're a junior in high school that you copied on every single thing you did because a fear, they're gonna put me in a special school. We all know what special means. I'm gonna have a, a title on myself the rest of my life. And being cool, you don't have a title on yourself. So I started cheating. I was dumb. And people say, oh, you know, you had a learning disability. I had a learning disability, but I realized I was lazy. So um, I called myself out there. I called myself out every which way possible. I didn't call myself out, I was just honest. I was honest. Look at yourself, man. Look at yourself. And it was that day, in a couple of days after that, I just got real with myself. And every day I came home, I called the accountability mirror. What am I gonna do today to change what I see in this mirror? What am I gonna do today? And a lot of it was, I stopped sitting with the cool guys. I actually tucked my shirt in and went to school looking like, hey man, this is how I'm going to look. If you don't like it, so be it. I had to really wear this, this, this layer of skin. I had to develop a really callous skin on me to, to take whatever you're going to call me, you're going to call me. Whatever I'm going to be, you know, I want a geek, but whoever I am, you're going to see me. You're going to see me for who I am because I need to change who I'm not. And that accountability mirror just, just became raw. And when I became fat over the years because I fell back in the hole, I called myself fat because I was fat. And people don't want to do that. They want to say, oh, don't call yourself fat. Don't call yourself dumb. If you're not real and raw with who the fuck you are, nothing's going to change. And in this nice new world that we live in, we want to hear, you're just a little big. No, man, you might be fat. And it's okay to hear that from yourself and from everybody else. So that's where it started at. And it's raw and it gets ugly sometimes with me in that mirror. But I'm also proud of myself to be able to tell myself that and then fix what's in that mirror. 